All right, y'all, Sister Season 7, Episode 5. Let's get into this recap. All right, y'all, so we're going to pick up right where we left off. And that is with my baby daddy at his maybe baby mama salon asking her for a DNA test. Now, Cameron is surprised and she is like, what? We already confirmed that John Aaron is not the daddy. So my baby daddy like, look, that's cool and all, but you still never got my DNA test. And she was like, oh, so you think I'm lying to you? And then he was like, how am I supposed to know I'm that kid's father? And she was like, so you calling me a slut? And he was like, I'm not calling you nothing. Thing, but I did hear how you got down to college mm. So Cameron like Oh this guy Fatima ran all over it And he was like look you sitting here Putting words in my mouth and she was like no She's putting words in your mouth She the reason why you sitting here calling me a liar And a slut Girl he didn't call you either So then he was like look I need to know If I'm that child's father if I'm gonna be taking care of this child And she was like no I don't want you in our child's life anymore You can go now, this is where delivery boy Trey walks over and he says to Karen, are you good? And then he looks at my man and gonna say, I don't want no problems. I'm just checking on this young lady. Boy, go check the next package that you got to deliver. Because why are you even sitting in the salon, sitting in the chair like you finna get a service done? Boy, bye. So Zach is like, oh, so this supposed to be your man? And then Mama Lisa came out to see what was going on with the government's arms. And she was like, Zach, why are you here? I told you to leave, da, da, da. And my baby daddy was just laughing. And he was like, like, child don't worry about it i'm finna go so after my baby daddy had left and whatnot pam had came over to talk to karen and let me just say if pam is telling you that you wrong child you have failed in life because she told karen like girl you is tripping if zach want to be in that baby life you need to let him i like trey but those delivery funds is not gonna cover all the bills that you got and karen still in denial talking about i don't want trey i don't know him it ain't nothing da 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 girl he gonna be popping that cash sooner than later Mama Lisa is still at the salon, and of course, you got to check on her daughter after all of the shenanigans. And Karen just want to know when did she see Zach. And Mama Lisa was like, girl, I seen him in the parking lot. I told him to leave. And out of nowhere, here comes Danny, and she is drunk, and she is giving a toast. And she is putting all of Karen business out there, how she got all this drama with her baby daddy. But she ain't got to worry because Auntie Danny was going to be there. And of course, Karen interrupted the speech and gave her own speech. And I was like, Danny, you drunk as a skunk, baby. Go to sleep. Mama Lisa was all up in this episode, baby. We ain't seen her this much in a long time. Because she is back at the salon and she is giving Karen a check. Because y'all know Karen is in debt up to her neck. So she is asking Karen, like, what are your plans? And Karen was like, well, the shop going to pick up. So Mama Lisa like, but what if it doesn't? And Karen said, well, she going to have to do what she got to do. Very true. So Mama Lisa like, you just need to give Zach the answers that he looking for. And Karen like... I'm tired of being questioned. I don't want him in our child's life, da-da-da. So Mama Lisa like, child, listen, don't cut your nose off to spite your face. Take the test. And Cameron gonna say, I'll think about it. Child, if that's his baby, ain't nothing to think about it. Easy peasy, let me squeeze. Get him the DNA test. So then, Trey comes back with another delivery. He got more deliveries than Amazon Prime. And he like, hey, how you doing? I just wanted to check on you after the incident. And she like, oh, I'm so sorry about the craziness. And he was like, oh, so that's your BD. He sound like he really want to be in his child's life. If that was me, I would have the same energy. And then he tells her, this my last stop before lunch. I was just wondering if you wanted to go grab a bite to eat with me. And baby, why Cameron agree? Mm hmm But you ain't interested. But you don't like him, though. Yeah, we knew, sis. Now, y'all know my baby daddy had to go tell our good sis Fatima what happened at Cameron's salon. So, he gave her the whole spiel. And he was like, yeah, she went crazy. And Fatima like crazy. She ain't put her hands on you, did she? Child, she pregnant. Fatima, let her live. And Zach was like, well, she felt like I was calling her a slut. And Fatima like, well, if she just take the DNA test, we wouldn't have to go through all this. My thoughts exactly. And Zach was like, yeah, that was another dude there. And he tried to take up for her, but I ain't got time for that, so I just left. By the way, I'm very proud of my baby daddy because three months ago, Zach would have punched Trey right in his face. And he like, look, I just want to deal with this situation with Michael. And Fatima has been looking for therapist for michael because she know that when baby michael come to them he is not gonna be all right and he is gonna need a therapist and zach is like oh i could marry you tomorrow zach we know so the day continues and zach is at home going over paperwork because apparently they court date for baby michael is tomorrow and fatima is like look don't stress we in a good place and he like i missed a lot of time with michael i just want to be in both of my kids life 
And for Tima, gotta throw her little shade talking about we still waiting to see if one of those seeds is yours. Child, I mean, listen, it's the truth. <laughs> Sabrina, Sabrina, our good sis just cannot get right. So she goes to see Rich, who is very happy to see her giving her kisses and stuff. And he is telling her about how he just got the green light to open a new location of his business. And Sabrina is distracted because she see a woman with a baby and that's all she can focus on. And she tells Rich, I have plans of my own. So he like, okay, what's tea? And she like, well, I decided I'm going to freeze my eggs. And baby, he looked at her and said, that's a good idea. You should do that because if me and you don't work out, you should have options. Mm. And then he said, well, uh, this our busy time, so I'm going to talk to you later. Gave her a kiss and was like, deuces. Baby, let's not drag this relationship out. It is over. It is done. Ribbon in a bow. So after that, Sabrina had went back to work. And this cotton swab page is all in our good sis business. Looking at one of her accounts, talking about the numbers is off by half a million dollars. And Sabrina like, girl, you reading it wrong. Mind your business and I'm a man mad period so Maurice had called because he needs to talk they needs to meet up because he got some tea for her now Maurice and met one of his dudes online and the dude was talking like he really interested in Maurice now we don't know because you know Maurice be picking him wrong but the guy just moved to Atlanta his partner had died and whatever and he took care of his partner to the very end and he seemed like he is interested in Maurice want to take him on a date so that's what he want to tell Sabrina and Sabrina like well I got news of my own so they plan on me no real soon that we gonna get the tea about everything danny has had a breakthrough and i am so excited for her so she is in her session with miss Cretia and miss Cretia got straight to it she was like okay danny so you said something about you choosing the wrong man and danny brings up preston and how she didn't think that she would like him as much but they kept on coming back to each other but she messed up when she started hooking up with jonah when they was on a break and how jonah was an a-hole and Cretia was like oh tell me more so danny was like he put his hands on me I ran him over with a car. I don't know why I couldn't see that darkness in him. And Cretia, like, well, you know, people good at hiding who they are. And Danny was like, you know, he told me everything that every other man has told me. So Cretia is like, well, have you been in other abusive relationships? And this is when Danny opened up and said that her college boyfriend, who was a star athlete, used to criticize her and talk down to her all the time. And he beat her up in the locker room and he was saying mean stuff to her. And if y'all remember when the sisters had did an intervention with Danny, they was telling her about how she was in college. And now we know why. Now, after the session, she had went back to work and Tony want to know how the session was, but Danny don't want to talk about it. And he like, okay, do you want to go to lunch? And she like, no, I'm not hungry. And he like, okay, is you good? Can I come over tonight? And she was like, um, I don't know, maybe. Now, she checked herself, and she came back to talk to him, and he was like, okay, what's going on? And she like, you know, earlier, I was kind of weird. Stuff came up in therapy, and he like, listen, I understand. Do you want to talk about it? And she like, no, not right now. So he like, okay, you want to grab dinner? And she was like, no. He like, do you want me to come over tonight? And she like, no, I don't think I need company. And he was like, look, I knew therapy wasn't going to be easy for you, but don't shut me out. And she was like, you know, I got a lot of stuff stuff i need to face and he like well i can face it with you and she was like yeah i'm good so she was leaving out but then she stopped and she was like you know what you can come over now y'all know i'm team preston i do not like tony like that because i just don't but he's a good man savannah denny don't mess this up you already messed it up with preston girl keep him Andy is on the phone with New Jordan and they being all cute and whatnot and they set up a dinner for later. Now Fatima walked in on their conversation and she like, oh my God, it feels so good to see you all happy and smiling. And Andy was like, yeah, it feel good to be with somebody who I can trust. But Andy know that Fatima got something going on with the guns on. So she like, girl, what's up? What's he? And Fatima like, you know, I hate asking you about Karen. And Andy was like, mm-hmm, you want to talk about how Zach showed up to the salon and caused the scene? So Fatima like she said he caused the scene and Andy like no Danny said that Zach showed up and caused the scene and was finna get beat up by a guy child far from the truth 
Now, we know Fatima is going to defend her man. So, she was like, girl, he went there to ask her for a DNA test. And Andy was like, girl, you know, that was not the time or the place for him to do that. We got this custody case coming up. We can't have him in no street fight. And Fatima was like, I know that, but can you talk to Karen? And Andy said, baby, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole. We got this case. I got this stuff with the FBI. And I'm trying to become partner. And Fatima was like, speaking of becoming a partner, I don't know what Hayden up to, but he up to something because he was coming out of one of the partner's office and he had fouls. Now, after the conversation, Andy had seen Hayden mm -hmm, kissing up to one of the partners. So she know that Fatima is not lying to her child. As the work day continued, Fatima had came back up to Andy to tell her that the dude that Jordan is racing against to become mayor has a scandal going on. Apparently, the guy was sleeping with his secretary who was 16 at the time. And Fatima like, look, I hope Jordan is clean because, you know, once they start digging on one candidate, they start digging on the other. And Andy is like, Jordan ain't got nothing going on with the government's owns. He is good to go. And Fatima was like, okay, just watch out for those red flags. And Andy was like, don't worry about it, sis. I'm going to ask him about this at dinner. And yes, she did because when she met up with Jordan, she was asking him about the scandal. And he was like, yeah, I was shocked. He seemed like such a family man. And Andy was like, well, he is a politician, so the shoe fits and Jordan was like not all of us are liars because I ain't done nothing that I'm ashamed of mm -hmm. and Andy was like okay no scandals and he was like yep no scandals child it's a scandal brewing grimy gary is in his office listening to the radio and they are talking about jordan and how he is winning this marital campaign so far because his opponent has a scandal going on and gary is not happy he is in his office throwing stuff around hitting his desk and the dude walks in i still don't know his name and he like gary what's going on with the going zones and gary is like i need this story about jordan to drop right now we need to go see your connect at the police station let's go Go see him right now baby whatever jordan has to hide gary gonna find out about it baby he is not letting up so they leave and penelope comes to gary office and he not there so of course she starts snooping around and she found a warrant now what the one is for we don't know but as she was going through his things gary had walked in and he was like what the hell are you doing here and she was like oh hey babe i came to surprise you with lunch and he like why are you going through my drawer and she was like oh they didn't give me no plastic wear at the thing and he was like no and she was like oh where have you been and he was like why are you so interested in my business and she was like well i'm I'm just trying to feed my man and he was like i'm not hungry so she was like okay well i'm gonna let you get back to work i'll see you later child she is not the person to put on the case get us a new investigator because she gonna get us called now, of course, Hayden got to call his good sister Gary to fill him in with the goings on with the goings on. And he was telling Gary how he overheard Fatima and Andy talking about how they hope Jordan don't have no dirt on him. And Gary was like, oh, don't worry about it. It's finna get real dirty. Now, Hayden with the shits until it's time to be with the shits. Because he like, oh, Gary, are you sure? We don't want this Andy situation to get out of hand. And Gary was like, don't worry about it. I'm handling it. Now, the whole time, Gary is outside of the restaurant that Jordan and Andy is having dinner. And they coming out kissing, hugging, touching, or whatever. And Gary is watching them as he's sniffing his little line. Mm -hmm. And he got a doop doop in his hand. And he was finna doop doop them. But they got in the car and drove away. Gary, what's going on with the gun was on? Because you know, went from scary Gary to first 48. But anyway, y'all, that was that on that. I will be back next week with a recap to episode six. So come back for that. In the meantime, between time, watch the videos for my other shows. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link them down in the description box below. And yeah, it's your girl, Sydney Renee, and I will see y'all next week. Peace.